Welcome to Shoe Week! Day two, day two of seven of Shoe Week. Today I have a little bit of a mixed video for you, so it's gonna be all Nike shoes. And I say shoes because it's not just sneakers. Hang tight, hang tight. These are all so good. But I do have a little bit of unboxing footage as well. I get kind of excited. I mean, I do. I get kind of excited about things. So it's gonna be a little bit of a mixed bag there, and let's just go. It is a rainy day in PA, and I guess I'm going to be leaning for this entire unboxing because that is how that is how I set up the camera. This honestly feels light, uh, so maybe there will be a second video unboxing. Ooh. Okay, what do we have first? These ones, it was recommended to go a half a size down, and they didn't have half a size down, so I went a whole size down. So there's probably a fairly good chance that these don't fit me. I have one of these for a while. These are the Nike Day Break. They do come in a lot of different colors. Looks like the Nikes on both sides. This is, you know, that material. Really, really like those. First impression, mmm, 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 mmm. That is my official first impression. Wow, I absolutely love these. This color schematic and why I picked this one. I love the commitment to, commitment, that's not the word, to white plus this is very much like a cream color. It's like, I'd say it's even more than an off-white. It's almost like a butter cream color and this light gray. I had a room decorated like that once, actually. It was my bedroom. And I just loved that color story. And I feel like it's just going to go with everything. I love, as an example, that they even did the cream laces. So I just really love the detail of that. I really like these. Let me tell you something helpful. So they do feel very comfortable. Online recommended to get them in a half size down from a normal size. I'm normally a seven. So that would for me be obviously a six and a half. They didn't have a six and a half. Now my foot is, it's up, but I'm sort of used to wearing fitted sneakers. So I'm actually okay with these. I would say if that's gonna drive you nuts, then go down a half size from your normal size. This is a full size down from my normal size. And they're tight, but honestly, I'm sort of used to wearing sneakers. Not tight, but I'd say fitted. Oh my goodness. These, oh, <laughs> these sandals. Look at these. Look at these. Oh my goodness. I don't, what are these called? Do you guys love the smell of new shoe? It's like new books. Like I love the smell. These are called the Nike Icon Classic Sandal. These did come in a couple different colors. It was recommended to get your normal size. They're Velcro and they're very, very light pink. If you are not new here, I have been wearing a lot of this sort of pink color and finding that it just matches a lot of stuff already in my wardrobe. So that's why I went with these because I really did want to get a lot of wear out of them. I like how right there in the middle, you can see through it. And I love that each of those say Nike, but if you look, this is monochromatic and then that one isn't. I think that's kind of a cool touch too. And then it says Nike on the back. I am really digging these. I feel like the fact that these are Velcro would be indicative that they are wide foot friendly, but I feel like you would have to really adjust them and then your foot would be tight against the base or tight against, you know, the bottom there. And I don't think that that would be comfortable. I absolutely love the platform. I just absolutely love the platform, wow. Hey, sorry to interrupt. I am just popping in. Let me know what you think about shoe week, about this video specifically. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear. And if we haven't met yet, by the way, I'm Jen. I'm Jen, the host from earlier, Jen from Jen the Real Fluencer. And my channel here is all about fashion, style. I love to make outfits on this channel. We do a lot of hauls on this channel. And it's really about helping you be your most confident self through really all of those things. That is always my approach. So if you think that sounds interesting, definitely consider subscribing. I always like to say, you know, subscribe if you're awesome. I probably should have already warned you, but I am a little bit goofy. Maybe you've seen that, maybe you haven't, I don't know. But subscribe if you're awesome and yeah, let's keep going on the video. Oh, check these out. Do you see that bungee? These are called the Nike Asuna, I believe is how you pronounce it two so maybe they had these last year i don't know the bungee on this is what got me the bungee i absolutely love them absolutely love them 
It looks like the bungee is adjustable. It's kind of hard to slide, but it looks like it doesn't completely unhook, but it does slide. But that is what holds the flaps together. This one does come in seven colors, and honestly, I really like the black ones. I'll tell you why I bought them, but my first choice probably would have been more the mint green ones or the peach. Absolutely stunning. And what got me too was that little tag on the front. I just love that square tag that says, I don't know, what does it say? Nike Sportwear, blah, 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 who cares? I just loved it. It's funny how I don't care what it says, even though I cite that as a reason for buying it. Um, <laughs> I got the black because I just wear so many leggings. I wear so many joggers, so many athleisure looks, and I just really truly thought the black would go with so much of what I already have in my wardrobe. And it is worth noting these are extraordinarily squishy. They are so comfortable. I could walk around a city all day long in these and feel like I'm floating on a cloud. So that is definitely worth noting. And the part that actually covers your foot is sort of padded. So there's an extra comfort there too. I'm just absolutely in love. Absolutely in love. I did, as I do typically with slides, I did go up one from my normal size. So I'm wearing these in an eight and my normal size shoe is a seven. These come in sizes five through a 12. And it looks like one of my shirts came. I was really excited about this one. So this is sort of like a mock neck style, as you can see. Do you see how it looks like a necklace, but it's sewn in? Now it is like, it, yeah, well, I said sewn. It's embroidered, but it looks like a necklace. Like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Um, I could not resist. And it was clearance. I couldn't believe that it was clearance. Uh, yes, yes. These were the pair that I was the most excited about. It was recommended to go down a half a size in these, so that's what I did. These are the Blazer Low 77 Jumbos. Okay. <gasps> Okay, that's obnoxious, that's so obnoxious. Let's look at them in all of their glory. So this is sort of textured, look at that, I love, I love that. Love the laces, do you see how big they are? And then it has the front stitching. If you have any blazers, I believe that's what they always look like. I do have a pair of leopard blazer high tops. It has that exposed foam like the blazers normally have. So I just really loved the color story of these. And you can see how the swoosh is massive, which I guess is why they call it jumbo. So let's try them on. I feel like I'd probably end up tying them sort of interestingly, as I like to say. I don't really know what that means in this example because I feel like I really want to see more of that tongue um, as you can see, I already took them out of the top lace. When they're in that top hole, it really kind of covers up the tongue. So I'd probably figure something out for that. But yeah, I just, I really like that they're obviously a white sneaker, but that little bit of extra color detail there, just with all of it, honestly. I mean, obviously the blue and the green are the most prominent. You know, you got the red and the yellow here, sort of like a marigold yellow or something. I just really, really like them. So you normally don't think that Nikes and pearls are synonymous or that they'd be in the same sentence. Not that there's not synonymous, but that they'd be, you know, a duo kind of married together in this shoe. So really, really interesting. So these are the Nike Blazer Low 77s, it says. Reading here, the old school basketball vibe reissued with pearly studs with a pop of shimmer and adding dimension. Exactly. These were show stoppers for me. Like I've never seen shoes like this. So they just were particularly interesting to me. And another reason why I really liked them is because I have so many sneakers. Sneakers are my weakness as, as we know, but I don't have a lot of overly preppy sneakers, if that makes sense, or dressy sneakers. And it's not like I'd call these dressy, but if I was going to a work event or if I was, I don't know, wearing them with maybe a little bit of a nicer top, but still wanted to wear sneakers, I feel like they'd still look appropriate. Plus the fact that they're all white, which means nothing is competing for color attention. You don't have to pay attention to the fact that they have a certain color in them when you're trying to marry them up with an outfit or anything. It's just such a blank canvas of white. So I really sort of wanted them for that reason. My entire sneaker collection, like half of them are high tops. <laughs> You know, I love high tops. High tops are my weakness, but that's not really something that I'd wear to 
work necessarily. So a couple other things, they're very comfortable. I would get your true size. I find that they run true to size. And I don't know if you noticed it, but the top pearl in the row of pearls, like the one closest to where you tie your laces, has this tiny little Nike swoosh in it. And I know it's as small as detail that literally no one would ever notice, but I figured I'd just point it out. And even the tongue. I mean, I know this goes back to them being blazers and old school, but I love the vinyl sort of style tongue and I don't know I just think they make your feet look attractive and I'm all about my feet looking attractive because I don't have a lot of other redeeming qualities on my body <laughs> so we'll take it we'll take it I absolutely love these So did I save the best for last? I don't know, man. I feel like I always say that. But these were an unintentional best for last. The Nike jump well this is all Nike. The jumbo low blazers that you saw earlier, the really colorful ones. I like those so much that I really wanted a jumbo blazer in a high top version because I love high tops. And I gotta tell you, these might even be my mostest favoritist of all of them. I just really do like these. I absolutely love just all the detail, everything from the back to like the zigzag stitching, as well as I really like the pop of orange. I feel like that's enough color, but not too much color. I really like how they look once they're sort of tied cool girl style, so to speak. And even the the piece in the back there that's more of like a stretchy fabric, I just feel like the whole dynamic of them is really cool. I also did get a half a size down from my normal size, and especially the way I have them tied, that's what I would recommend. If you're going to tie them regular, you know, I'd say, I'd say they still do kind of lean a little bit big, but you probably could get your normal size if you're concerned about anything being too tight. I mean, yeah, I also can't recommend these enough. I mean, dang, this this haul is pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love these. I absolutely love these. They do come in a few different colors, uh, but highly recommend. So I must know, I must know your favorite pair. Please tell me before you head out down in the comments below. If you are still here, I cannot thank you enough. Please leave me a heart emoji or the word shoe week so that I know you made it all the way to the end of this video and I can appreciate you so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you're awesome. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was, you know, like halfway decent. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!